Ice by Lewis Nora is a short story that explores themes of isolation, loss, and the power of imagination. The story is set in Antarctica, where a group of researchers has been stationed for a year. The protagonist, Adrian, is one of the researchers, who is struggling to cope with the harsh environment and the sense of loneliness that has enveloped him. The story begins with Adrian staring out at the bleak and desolate landscape of Antarctica. He is plagued by feelings of isolation and despair, as he thinks about his life back home and the people he has left behind. His only solace is the presence of his colleague, Mary, who has been a source of comfort and companionship for him. However, even Mary's presence is not enough to dispel Adrian's sense of loneliness, and he often finds himself lost in his own thoughts. As the story progresses, Adrian begins to experience a strange and inexplicable phenomenon. He starts to see things that are not there, such as a woman in a white dress, a man with a bird's head, and a fish swimming in the air. At first, Adrian dismisses these hallucinations as a result of the harsh environment and lack of sunlight. However, as the hallucinations become more vivid and frequent, Adrian starts to question his sanity. The turning point of the story comes when Adrian decides to confront the hallucinations. He walks out into the freezing cold, determined to face his fears and discover the truth. As he walks, he begins to realize that the hallucinations are not a figment of his imagination but rather a manifestation of his deepest fears and desires. The woman in the white dress represents his longing for love and companionship, while the man with the bird's head symbolizes his fear of becoming a monster. The fish in the air represents his sense of freedom and the possibility of escape from his current situation. The climax of the story comes when Adrian reaches the edge of the ice shelf and sees a group of penguins swimming in the icy water below. The penguins represent the resilience and adaptability of life in the face of extreme adversity. Adrian realizes that he too can learn to adapt and survive in this harsh environment if he can tap into his own inner strength and imagination. The story ends with Adrian returning to the research station, where he is greeted by Mary. Although he is still lonely and isolated, he has gained a new sense of purpose and determination. He knows that he can never escape the isolation of Antarctica, but he can learn to accept it and find meaning in his experiences. Nora's use of imagery and symbolism is particularly effective in ice. The stark and desolate landscape of Antarctica mirrors the sense of isolation and emptiness that Adrian feels. The hallucinations that Adrian experiences are a powerful metaphor for the way that our deepest fears and desires can manifest themselves in unexpected ways. The penguins represent the power of adaptation and resilience, which is a crucial theme in a story set in such an extreme environment. Overall, Ice is a powerful and evocative story that explores complex themes of isolation, loss, and the power of the human imagination. Through Adrian's journey, we see how the human spirit can endure even in the most difficult of circumstances. Nora's use of language and imagery creates a vivid and haunting portrait of life in one of the harshest environments on earth.